Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara and in this video I would like to talk about one of the most iconic opening of Bleach, the new opening of Thousand Year Blood War arc, Scar. And the reason why I decided to make a special video for this opening, simply because it carries a lot of creativity and symbolism that you need to know and pay attention to it. Unlike some other animes that base their creativity on some popular movies to make their opening which is something good, but in Bleach there was another level of creativity. Creativity from the world of the story itself and that's what distinguishes Bleach. The story is rich of words and races and groups. And the core of the opening was about the Gute 13 and what each division represents. But before we talk about each division, let me start from this scene, which was based on the same color page of chapter 685, one chapter before the end of the manga. And I really like the color they have used in this opening. It's like a mixture between the pink and red, which represents the title of this arc, Thousand Year Blood War. Because the events of this arc is not about a touristic adventure, it's about a great war that has a past of 1000 years and its effects had just begun. After that, we see the presentation of each division. What we know is that each division has its own symbolism, which is represented through a flower. And each flower has a meaning, which also represents the beliefs of each division. For example, when Kira was about to kill this Arankara, he started to explain to him that the third division squad flower is Marigold, which symbolizes despair, and so on. Each division has its thought of thinking, and I'm really curious about who is the person who thought about taking the flowers as a symbol in general. Is he Yamamoto, since he is the one who has created the Gote 13, or maybe someone else like Captain Onohana. Anyway, the opening started with the first division with Saldat Yamamoto with his vice captain Sasakibi. And the flower of the first division is chrysanthemums, which represents truth and innocence. As for the flower of the second division is Pask flower, which represents seek nothing. And I don't know what the meaning of this, you can tell me guys in the comments. As for the third division, there is the Mari Gold, and as we said, it represents despair. As for the fourth division, we have Bellflower, which represents those who grieve are love. And the fifth division, we have the Lily of the Valley flower, which represents sacrifice, danger, pure love, humility, and sweetness. <laughs> wow! That's why Aizen Sama was the ideal captain for this division. And the sixth division's flower is Camellia, which represents noble reason. And this is go well with the fact that the sixth division is ruled by the Kuchiki family, which is one of the noble families. And through the events of the story, we have seen how Byakia was going under that meaning. He has always a noble reason to fight for, either for the rules of the soul society and his family, or his pride. As for the 7th division, they have the iris flower, which represents the courage. As for the 8th division, they have the Strelitzia flower, which is the bird of paradise. I have never thought that there is such flower, it has a unique shape, and it represents everything is obtained. And for the 9th division, they have the white poppy flower, which represents oblivion, and maybe this meaning has something to do with Tosin and how he was unaware of the fact of the true world he was living in until he met Aizen Sosuke. As for the 10th division, their flower is Daffodil, which represents mystery and egoism. As for the 11th division, they have the Yarrow flower, which represents the fight, and it is clear since the captain of this division is the Kinpachi. All the Kinpachi are known for their will to become stronger fighters. And for the 12th division, they have the Chisel flower, which represents vengeance, strictness, and independence. And the last one is the 13th division, which has the flower of Snowdrop, which represents the hope. And I really like the meaning of this one, because Rokia was always the person who was giving hope to Ichigo when he was down. She was like the light for him. And we can say the same thing for Okitaki, his personality, it makes you feel there is hope, there is something it can be done. And so this was all the symbolism that was in the opening regarding the Gote 13. After that we have seen a scene of Ichigo when he was between a lot of swords, like he was searching for his true sword. And finally, he got to meet him, which is White, the true Zanpakuto. And after that, we saw this transition between the fake Zangitsu and Yuhabach. And after that, 
there was an important scene of someone who was browsing a book. I think this scene, either the scene of Kyoraka when he was reading what was written about Yachir Onahana being the first Kinpachi, or that is Yuryu reading about the history of the Quincy. Because the scenes that follow that scenes are about Yuryu and he was in the library of his father. So it could be one of these possibilities. But I'm going with the first possibility that this is Kyoraku's scene. Because if you slow the video frame by frame, you will see the picture of Yamamoto when he was young on one of these pages. And the next scene was from the color page of the Sternite. And I really like it. Because finally, we were able to see the elite guards of Yuwabach and the same thing happened for the Zero Squad. Because I was wondering why we didn't have any single scene about them in the past trailers. But from that scene, I really liked how they were standing, especially Nimaya and Kerenji in Hikofuni with her sexy body. And the rest of the other scenes were about some fights that we're gonna see in the first invasion, like Bambi vs Sajin and Toshiro vs Kangaroo. And one of the frames that got me is this one. The drawing of this scene is so good, and I hope to see this in the actual fight of Yuhabach versus Ichigo. This is about the opening. As for the ending, as usual, a calm song that carries with it the path of the war that took place in the final arc. Shinigami sacrifices. Many swords were drawn in order to respond to the Quincy attack, and great battles led by the captains in order to repel the Quincy attack. And I think the Zanpakuto that the ending song started with is Ryujin Jaka, especially since from that Zanpakuto we saw fire. And most of the Zanpakuto that have been shown are in their Shikai release, like Katin Kyokatsu, Soifon Zanpakuto, and Okitake, Rose, Senbon Zakra, and even the Zanpakuto of Zaraki. Then we see, as I said, a scene of serity in state of destruction. It was written after the defeat of the old man Yamamoto. So this scene embodies the scenes of destruction that we saw, as well as the number of dead Shinigami. In the next scene it looks like the final scene of the war, in general. The war caused the Shinigami the death of many officers, as well as three captains, and they are Onohana, Yamoto, and Okitaki. The fight ended with Ichigo defeating Yuhabach by using the real Zangetsu in its Shikai mode. And speaking of that, I know that it's too early to talk about it, but I'm curious about the final battle. As you can see in this scene, Zangetsu is the sword that beated Yuhaba. Are we gonna see the real Bankai of Ichigo or not? Whatever, that's up for the future. And as I said guys, I really like that opening, but I'm wondering if this opening will stick with us for the entire season, or we're gonna see a new opening in the second core of the anime. Because honestly, I want to see more opening with more bands so we can have some diversity in terms of opening regarding this season. So guys, that's it for this video. Tell me your opinion and see you in my next video.